Spencer Lee just won his third NCAA wrestling championship for the Iowa Hawkeyes. After the winning his title, he was interviewed and shared that he was wrestling on two torn ACLs in his knees. I want to kind of quickly review that. How is that even possible and what exactly does the ACL do? So let's demystify that. So if we look at this model over here and we open up the knee, the ACL is the ligament here that runs between the tibia and the femur, okay? And it stops the tibia bone on the bottom from sliding forward and it also provides rotational stability, okay? So after you suffer an ACL tear, after you get through the initial pain, the knee pain and swelling will actually go down. And you can actually live with an ACL tear without any pain, okay? And a lot of non-athletes won't even miss it at all. If you like to run, if you like to do straight forward uh, and backward type motions, you're not gonna miss the ACL. When you're gonna miss your ACL is when you're trying to do rotational or pivot type uh, activities where you're rotating. And basically think of the ACL like a seatbelt in the car. So when you don't have that ACL, you'll feel knee instability. That's the key, you'll have knee instability. And when they interviewed him, he said that he barely could do a takedown, he could barely sprawl, etc. So in that post-match interview, he also shared that he tore his second ACL eight days prior to, that, to the match. So I think there's some luck in that timing. Usually right when you tear your ACL, your knee will swell up. And because of that swelling is in the knee, you'll have loss of range of motion. At eight days after the injury, that would have been enough, just enough time for, for, the, for the athletic training department to ice his knee, to do treatments to the knee, to get that knee swelling down enough to the point where hopefully the pain and the swelling was low enough and the range of motion high enough where he could have competed. After season, that's when we would talk about doing an, an ACL reconstruction, possibly if that's what he wanted to do, to try to provide more uh, knee stability and try to stop any instability of the knee. But really a beautiful case of you know sports medicine at its finest. We try to keep you on the field. We try to keep you in the game uh, to fulfill your dreams. And after the event, that's when we can talk about treating the knee more definitively with surgery sometimes. But at the end of the day, this case highlights you do not need your ACLs to stand. You do not need your ACLs to walk. You can have a pain-free knee with torn ACLs. Where you're gonna miss your ACL is that rotational stability for pivot type activities and rotational shifts. But other than that, you can get along without your ACL just fine and even be an NCAA champion. Congratulations to Spencer Lee, and we'll see you guys here next time.